What's going on everyone? Um, haven't done a match reaction in a while and today just proves why I'm just not arsed anymore with these ridiculous performances, ridiculous results. Um, Manchester City 4, Man United 1 and I can honestly say that that was the most pathetic second half I have ever seen from Manchester United. Pathetic. I think the first half United were okay. Um, Jaden Sancho did well to get one back after uh, Kevin De Bruyne scored. Um, and yeah, like they worked hard. It was a bit frustrating to concede the way we did, but it's City, you expect to concede. They are just too good. Um, and they're at home, they have all their fans there. And we just lay down and died in the second half. Um, and I, I, I'm not even messing, I was mortified. I'm embarrassed for those players. I'm so embarrassed. Um, there was a moment in the game where City lost possession of the ball um, and we tried to counter attack. And what was it? Seven or eight players just literally closed Jesse Lingard down so rapidly. Didn't give him a minute um, and, and won the ball back. And that, that is what happens. That is the reason why City are as good as they are and Manchester United are as shit as they are when we lose possession we just stand off and we kind of just try and delay um the opposition from from doing something we just kind of stand off and try and slow everything down and um, whereas other teams or City today they lose possession they're all straight out to get it again um and then we had eight percent possession for the last whatever how many minutes it was um it was embarrassing because the, the fans man city fans every time they passed the ball they were Ey! and then you know they were just completely mocking manchester united um and for me i think the players ha having to play while listening to those fans do that they're taking the absolute piss out of you you'd have to go home and just be so embarrassed um, for yourself and, and for the Manchester United fans having put in performance that bad it, it was shocking it really was shocking um, we didn't really create anything but then when we did it, it was the same thing like holding on to the ball for too long just doing stupid stuff um, and I really don't see how we progress Arsenal are now ahead of us, they're in the top four and they have two games in hand. Um, yeah, top four, I didn't think it was likely anyway, but it's definitely just slipping away. And all those points that we dropped against teams that we should have been beaten, we dropped five points against Watford this season. Five. We, we have been so bad, so bad. And this isn't anything against Ralph Ragnick. I actually think Ralph has come in and done well. He has done well, but the players can't finish a happy meal. They can't. We've seen it. We've seen in previous games, all the chances that we have had and we can do nothing. We can do nothing. Today, we just looked we look like a shell of ourselves. You could see the players were unconfident. You could see that they didn't believe in themselves. This is the Manchester Derby and they looked shook. They looked... It just was awful. And Sancho, yeah, he scores against his old team, Man City. He did really well to take the goal. And he made the little face, like... But this is, this is it, like... Sancho's going to post now. Shame about the result. Happy to get a goal. And fair play, he's probably one of the players that can hold his head up a little bit. Um, but realistically, this is this is just our season. It's done. It's done. And I'm really disappointed. I, I'm actually... I was watching, sitting watching the game. I was like, I actually don't even enjoy this anymore at all. I don't enjoy it. It's hard to watch. It's embarrassing. It's frustrating. Um, City had so many shots, so many shots. Yeah, a good few on top target. David De Gea did do 
well and um, he pulled off a few good saves and the scoreline could have been a lot more I imagine but one thing about David De Gea's distribution it's horrendous it's so bad Um, I started counting towards a f towards late in the game I think maybe the second half I started counting every time he kicked out the ball and every time it went to it went to a City player every time every time I don't understand how you can be so bad at kicking the ball out. Um, I just think he does it in in such a rush. He he's just he's not even looking where it's going. Um, he clearly doesn't have that pinpoint accuracy that you would kind of hope that your goalkeeper would have, even when he's not under pressure. Fair enough if he's under pressure, you, you kind of you can rush it and kick it wherever. Um. But there's times when David De Gea has time and he and he kicks it out and it's straight to the other team. And then again, they all f come in. Pressure's on. Um, yeah, like everyone was crap. Everyone was crap. I think Scott McTominay probably did well at times. He knows what a game like this means. But all in all, it didn't work. They didn't work, the players. But what's new? What is new? It's just so disappointing at this stage um, of the season because all the points that we've dropped against, as I said, teams that we should be getting points off, winning games, drawing. We, we've drew too many games this season, but we should be winning games more. And, and now we've left. It's so late that we have a very tough run of games and we're putting that pressure on ourselves that we have to win. We have to beat City. That's not going to happen. We have to play Liverpool. Try beat them. Not going to happen. Um, I I fear playing teams like that, which is I hate to say it. I hate to say it because years ago you didn't fear playing anyone. You look forward to these games. You look forward to to playing big teams who are good, and um, because you know you'll probably get one over on them. And now I fear playing bottom of the table because I know how likely we are to fuck up like we did against Watford, like we did with Burnley. I think we got a draw or whatever. But the point is we make it so hard for ourselves and we might have a good result against the Leeds or something like that. But then when it comes down to it, I think the games that we should be winning, they're like, yeah, we'll win this, no bother. And then, and then we get shocked. And then the big games like this, we literally have no confidence because we know we can't beat a relegation side. So how are we going to beat a, a team that... Are, are just killing everyone in the league um yeah there's just things seriously wrong at Manchester United um and I feel sorry for Ralph Ragnick because he's doing everything he can do and you can see progression in there you can see and um, what he's trying to do but either the players aren't good enough or they're just low in confidence or or they just aren't bothered because there's no other reason for it. Um, I'm upset that Ronaldo is injured because maybe he could have done something in that game, but maybe not. Did he have this? Was the service there? All in all, I think Manchester United have let the whole club down and the fan base down today because they were shocking, shockingly bad, and I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Let me know your thoughts on the game, guys. I'm not even going to go through player ratings. I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm just so pissed off and annoyed at the fact that these players, yet again, put us through a derby like that. When we know what it means, they quite clearly don't. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, drop a like. If you're a rival fan, please just don't even bother annoying me in the comments because I'm upset already. So yeah, don't make my day even worse. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. 